Uh, Matt, go ahead. You're on the air with David Spade, whose new movie is opening up this weekend. No, next no, weekend. No, next oh. weekend. Sneak Lost preview this found. weekend. Sneaks everywhere. Lost and Found, a very funny movie, Sneaks according Saturday to Robin Quivers. Night? Thank you, Howard. Big fan, David. Hey. Hey, uh, Robin read on the news a couple weeks ago that you were at a, a Seder at Madonna's house. That's right. I oh, knew there was no, something I, was... I read. Were you at a Seder at Madonna's house? Oh, man. Ambush what do you mean ambush? Why, why is that an ambush? <laughs> I don't know. It just you, makes me feel more of a victim. Oh, why are you dear. acting like a victim? It's bumming me out. You're making it seem like I'm against you or something. Anytime you ask me about something I don't have jokes about, I act like <laughs> but why, why can't we talk about something serious? You're obviously very religious. You had to be at your Seder. <laughs> right. Why would Madonna, a, a obviously not a, a Jew... And David's not a Jew. Oh, you're not? I thought you were. You, you behave like one. No, um, <laughs> <are> you, uh, <laughs> Should I go? <laughs> oh, I thought you were Jewish. <laughs> No, no, seriously. What, what, what is it to get invited at Madonna's? How do you get there? I'm fascinated. How did you become friendly with Madonna? Uh, I, I have to say that I'm really not that friendly with Madonna. Guy O'Siri is her partner, president of Maverick Records. You probably know him. And he, <laughs> sure. when I saw him, yeah. uh, he said he's having a, uh, like a sit-down dinner party. Right. And he said, come on over. Ah, that's the exodus for your Seder. Right. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I don't even know what a Seder is, dude. You know. Neither do I. I don't know. You're, all right. you're so Jewish, and I'm not at all, so you know all that stuff. Yeah, I'm wearing a yarmulke right now. <laughs> <laughs> Put on your yarmulke. So, so I, go, uh, I go over there at 8. It started at 6. I didn't know. And they were going to... It was, everyone was already there, and I felt like Did they read from the, the, the Bible and stuff? Yes, and they wanted me to read The Wicked Child, whatever that was, from oh. the Seder. Don't you think they're like kind of goofing on everyone? And kinda? Lionel yeah. Richie and Madonna were singing Seder Say songs. Say you, Seder. <laughs> <laughs> were, were you there when Madonna and Lionel Richie... I didn't Richie... write that one ahead, Jackie. <laughs> Excuse me. Did you... You're telling me you went to a party <laughs> where Madonna <laughs> and Lionel Richie sang Seder songs together? <laughs> Are you telling me that, and you're not going to talk to me about it? No, I straight think. Straight face. No, I think I, I heard they. I heard there was singing. And you didn't on. see it. No, I. I came at eight, so I missed a little bit of it, and then I felt stupid. Who else was at the seder? Um, Lord S. Lord S. <laughs> Lord S. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. Whoa. Um, oh, look at Mr. Hollywood Mr. acting all like. I'm not saying I even know the them. I just saw them. Was uh, the, the, the biggest name in show business Tom Arnold there? <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. No. Uh, no, no, he wasn't. So, so it's Gwyneth Paltrow. Do you like her? Yeah, I like her a lot. She's great. She's oh. always been <laughs> I only see her once a year. <laughs> Why Seder. do I sound so stupid? Wait, 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 you went to a Seder at Madonna's house. Where's her house? In Los Angeles? It was a guy's house. All right, give the address so everyone can go. It was, <laughs> All right, let's just say, the L.A. Basin. Right. Okay. So Madonna, and specific. what is Madonna wearing at this party? Uh, whatever it was, I was looking down at. Yeah, yeah she had big address. boobies, Sean. Yeah. Okay. And Gwyneth Paltrow, and who's she there with, Ben Affleck? No, she came solo. Solo. Mm hmm Who else is at the theater? He's thinking that one goddamn phone call. No, Besides I'm Lionel trying to Richie. think of uh, Lionel Richie, Brooke Shields. Brooke Shields it, it was there. covered the gamut, yeah. Steve Dorff. And did you uh, say, I'm sorry about your divorce? Did you say anything personal to her? No, it was right after that, that, that guy uh, from her show. Strict Killed himself. Yes. So she needed to get close to God, and, so she went to a Seder at Madonna's house. Yeah, so she talked to Lovitz about that. They were talking oh, about Oh, Lovitz was there, too. Oh, well, look at this. Lovitz just comes with a party. What yeah. an A-list, huh? Build a party Brooke around. Shields and Lovitz. And, and Gwyneth. Gwyneth. And Listen Stone to this. Temple Pilots. Uh, Scott, Scott Weiland. Weiland. He's, He's there? Cool guy. Yeah. <laughs> Scott was there. <laughs> he brought the, he brought the heroin? And uh, yeah. Anthony, Kiedis, and, uh, Anthony Kiedis. Anthony Kiedis? He brought the heroin, too. <laughs> well, the fun thing about these parties is they're so small, and there's... N it's not about like a press event, so it's just a bunch, everyone just gets to bullshit. Was Norm Zeta there? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's that? So you you're telling me you're telling me you were at a party with all these people? Yeah. Wow. And no stories, and no he anecdotes. He's lying and saying he's not big. <laughs> look at where he is. Oh, look at all impressed with himself too. <laughs> yeah, they were there. It's no. like, Gwyneth oh, is he wonderful. doesn't even know that's out of the ordinary. Mm, no, he anymore. does. And he's just you know like, you're being you're being a little weird. Gwyneth was telling Lourdes that in two years she's got to watch her back around me. 
<laughs> yeah, that's all. Mm. That's funny. So, you, 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 in other words, you feel funny talking about this because you want to be invited to other Hollywood parties. No, I don't <laughs> know if there was any. Uh, major, you know, I think the highlights happened before I got there. No, but. you know there was funny stuff going on that night that you must piss in your pants over. But and you, won't, you can't believe you're there. Yeah, but you're getting to the point now where you're not even allowed to talk about anything. No, I didn't. This I, is sad. No, no. I'm, this is a sad day in Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. You're at a bar he's, and you're talking to Norm about. He's crossed over. It. This is sad. <laughs> I I'm not kidding. Norman. I am sad. Howard. You called Howard. Norm and told him? Howard. Right. The people he used to goof on. Right. Now his friend. Oh, I saw all these people. I missed two hours of it. So by then it was just. Uh, what? It was just. Uh, Wasn't it? Were they dinner? all and drunk then, on uh, the Seder wine? drinks line? and everyone's kind of milling. And out. what is it? What is the pretense here? That in other words, as long as you're famous, you're okay. Were you eating Jewish food? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What did you eat? I don't know. I think it was turkey. <laughs> That's Jewish. So in other words, is everyone there is, everyone there, come on, David, help me out with this. Okay. Everyone is famous right. there? Everyone is pretty famous, yeah. It was from music and uh, and uh, new movies and stuff. Really? And, and like you have to be, in other words, and this is what I don't get about Hollywood. In other words, as long as you're famous, you're okay. Yeah, Yo, you, you have, have to, to be kind of fun. Parties. I'm fun. <laughs> but they, Do you have to listen to Madonna's music when you're there? Like what's playing for music? It's tough because you go in and there's someone at the door when you go in. There's security at like someone's house is hard because yeah. you got the headsets and you got to like basically read just to get in the party, you know? Right. So I audition for that guy, then I come in, then I get to this door. Right. Then I get to the back door, and then it's like, get smart. You know, I got to right. keep going through doors and doors, and I finally... Mm. Do you take a chick to this? Because that would be impressive. Cool. No, I didn't. Right, that's what I would do. If I was see yeah, if I was seeing someone, I would, but I... Like Chris Rock said, he always... He, he brought a first date once to a Prince concert, and they mm -hmm. doubled to Spike Lee, and he goes, Spade, I got nowhere to go now. <laughs> right. I painted myself in a cool corner. I think uh, he sounds like uh, Bill Cosby a little bit. I really? can't take her to Arby's on the second date. <laughs> it's got to go up. All right, listen. Oh, uh, that, we didn't get much information. That sounds like a wrap-up. Yeah, I think I'm I giving up. I don't know up. what to tell you. I, I, I wish, because someone told me you talked about the Seder, and uh, I said, wow, what would I say about the Seder? I don't know. Seder. Great happen. <laughs> All right, anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 